Hey everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review episode. The movie I'm going to be reviewing today is a movie that I discovered a few years ago, um, was intrigued by the picture I saw, and when I saw the movie I was pleasantly surprised because the picture doesn't do the movie justice. So the movie that I'm talking about today is the 1987 high school comedy, Three O'Clock High, which is directed by Phil Jernal and um, is starring... Casey Semesco and Richard Tyson. Now, the movie is basically the plot in the day of Jerry Mitchell, who is a high school student who works um, at the school um, shop, which um, they have um, like stationery and stuff like that. So he works in the shop as well as obviously being a student at the high school. But there's this rumor that's going around and the rumour is, is that today happens to be the day that a new student called Buddy Ravel, played by Richard Tyson, is um, starting his first day at this new school. Now, he's got a reputation of being a bad boy character to the point that he's been either, some people are saying he got expelled from so-and-so school for maybe assaulting someone or something like that. It's kind of like an urban legend that's going around with him and stuff like that. And um, Jerry happens to... Um, bump into Buddy in a, in a way which is very strange because his newspaper friend happens to want him to interview Buddy and Buddy is very personal, he wants to keep himself to himself and just get through high school and he's a really, really hulking guy, very quiet guy, good looking guy and um, what happens is um, Jerry uh, sort of pats him on the shoulder and Buddy doesn't like being touched by anybody so Buddy basically says to Jerry, he says, at three o'clock after high school finishes, we're going to fight. If you try and weasel out, I will find you and stuff like that. So basically, the movie is about Jerry looking for any opportunity to try and get out of this fight. And it comes with really, really goofy consequences, such as him trying to leave high school early with being caught, um, trying to steal money from the shop that he works in in order to pay uh, Buddy off um, as well as obviously paying another student to try and take Buddy out with which actually backfires um, but the movie's kind of done sort of in real time as, as throughout the whole day um, I don't want to spoil the movie too much for you because I think this is one that you should really check out I really enjoyed this movie a lot and I've seen it more than once and um, I think the actors are really good I mean Casey Semesco you probably know from the Back to the Future sequels, um, in which he was one of Biff's uh, baddies in the gang. And uh, Richard Tyson's obviously gone on to have a successful career in movies as well. I mean, just a few years after doing this, he was the, the main baddie in the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Kindergarten Cop. So it clearly helped those. I mean, Phil Jernal, the director, he went on to do um, a very underrated uh, crime movie called State of Grace, which came out around the same sort of time as Goodfellas. So, the movie had no chance of being a hit with that movie being out around that time, but I would definitely recommend that too. But with Three O'Clock High, I really like this film. Um, it surprised me when I saw a film recently come out, which I believe was called um, Fist Fight, which starred um, Charlie Day and Ice Cube. And straight away, it made me think of Three O'Clock High because it's basically the same plot just between teachers that work at the school. And um, I thought that movie was okay, but you could see it was clearly ripping off this one. This one, I would definitely recommend you checking out. In the UK, I don't recall ever seeing um, a VHS of it um, in video shops or anything like that. And it was one of those ones that I discovered through the internet. So to me, this is kind of a lost 80s gem, and I would definitely recommend you guys to hunt it down if it's on streaming sites or if you can pick it up on DVD or Blu-ray. Um, so, yeah, that's my review of Three O'Clock High. So what did you think of that movie? you think it's pretty good? If so, give me a like and a comment. Tell me what you think of it. Be sure to check out in the description below all of the links for social media, for all the platforms, so you can keep up to date with all the videos and stuff that we've got coming up on this channel. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a great time and uh, catch up with you very soon. All the very best to you.